Hi everyone, today I want to talk about Power BI Bookmark. Power BI Bookmark is more powerful than an ordinary bookmark. An ordinary bookmark that you put in a book only tells you which page shall we go to. It doesn't tell you which lines that you last read, which paragraph that you need to focus on. In Power BI, Bookmarks are markers that can be used to not only quickly navigate to a page, but also within a page. Let us remember the various filtering, drill down, and sort data settings, as well as display options such as showing or hiding a visual. Let's take a deep dive on various bookmark settings so we can get a better understanding on what options are available within Power BI. First, Let's explore what does it mean when data option is ticked. It means that all filtering, drill through, and sort settings are kept and memorized by this bookmark. Let's look at this report and let's open the bookmark pane by clicking view bookmarks so we can see the bookmarks that has been previously created. The last bookmark is the newly created one that will bring us to this simplified report and it will display the social channel year 2013 and month 5. So from wherever we are, if we are here maybe, click that simplified report bookmark, it will bring us to this page. And remember, a bookmark in Power BI not only remembers the page but also the various settings such as filtering and the order but only if these various options are displayed now let me just show you the difference with the bookmark if the data option is not displayed i'm going to add a new bookmark i'm going to call it simplified report as a data not tick click that three buttons and tick the data when the data is not tick won't remember the various filtering that is happening in here. For example, if we change the year to 2005, just watch that. And when we click the previous bookmark, it will revert back to 2013. But when we change that to 2005 and we click this bookmark, as our data not tick, nothing happened. It doesn't remember the previous setting. Yeah. So if we are on this page, for example, any other page, when you click the SR data not take, it brings you to this simplified report page, but it doesn't remember the previous settings of the 2013. It's only if you click this previous one that was set up when the year was 2013, then it changed that. So for example, and stay on this page, you can change it to 2004, but if you click that, it refers back. And same with the sort order. So we can change that sort order to ascending, for example. And if we click the previous bookmark, voila, it referred back. And because in here, the data option is thick. Now, if I change that one more time into ascending, and clicking the SR data not tick, Nothing happened. So when the data is not ticked, the bookmark will not remember the sorting order as well as the filtering using filter, as well as the filter that was set up on this filter pane. My recommendation is to always leave display option as tick if you want Power BI to remember all of your filter, sort, and drill down setup. Next, what does it mean when display option is ticked? Power BI will help you remember the display state, such as spotlight, as well as visibility, whether shown or hidden. Let's start again. I'm clicking our previously created default bookmark, where all the options are ticked. And I want to show you what it means to have display option tick versus untick. With display, it will impact the spotlight setting of the report. What does it mean? So, in Power BI, there is this option where you can click the spotlight, and when you spotlight an item, everything is gray. 
Now I'm going to update this default bookmark so that it remembers this that I'm creating a spotlight on this chart. So if I'm going to a different page and then I click that default bookmark, when I come back to this page, notice how the item is in the spotlight. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add a new bookmark. And this time around, I'm going to say display not tick. And I'm going to untick display. Watch this. When I'm in concept one, and I'm going to click display not tick. Look at this. The item, the chart, is no longer being in the spotlight. Unlike previously, if we click the default, the default has the item being in the spotlight. See, notice the difference? So when the display is being ticked, it remembers spotlight versus non-spotlight. You can put a spotlight on pretty much everything, not just chart. Even slicer, for example, there is an option in here to create spotlight. And then you can click anywhere to remove the spotlight. That's basically one function of display option. An item display attribute in addition to being in the spotlight or not in the spotlight is being shown or hidden. What do I mean by that? So you can click selection in here and you can see the various status of an item in this page. So for example, this is the title yeah? and the title is shown. And if I click this, the title is hidden and the slicer, if I want to, I can choose to hide it, but I'm not going to do that. And I can click it one more time and it's all shown. So you can see some items are hidden. Some items are not hidden or shown. Now the title, I'm going to leave it as hidden. And I'm going to update my bookmark so that it remembers that I want the title to be hidden. Now, there is a second bookmark in here, which is display not tick. And I'm going to update it as well so that it remembers this page. But because the display option is not tick, it's not going to remember whether an item is hidden or not hidden. What do I mean by that? Let's say I'm going to unhide the report title. If I click my default bookmark, my original bookmark, it remembers that at that time it was hidden. So that's hidden. Now I'm going to unhide it one more time. And I'm going to go to a different page. I'm going to click it again. And it's hidden again because it remembers. Go to that page and at that time, that item is hidden. Okay, so I'm going to unhide it. Just for fun so i'm changing the display state of this item i'm going to go to a different page and i'm going to click this simplified report display not tick bookmark notice what happened it's still shown because when the display is not tick it's not going to remember the status so click that that's hidden and if i click it one more time it's still hidden why because for power bi it doesn't really matter the most important thing is to just go to this page and not remembering what was hidden and not hidden. And my recommendation is to always leave display option as tick when you're first starting out with bookmark. And thirdly, what does it mean when current page option is tick? When you click the bookmark, it will take you to that page and make it your current page. If not tick, Clicking the bookmark will not bring you to that page. I'm going to unhide the report title and I'm going to update. So that my default bookmark, simplified report all tick, will show the title. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more bookmark to this page and I'm going to call it simple report current page not. What do I mean by that? I'm going to untick the current page. So you can see the difference between what happened when everything is tick versus what happened when the current page is not tick. So let's say you are here, you're in top 10 regions. When you click the previous one, it will bring you to this page. 
watch what happened when you click that. Nothing happened. Huh. So when the current page is not ticked, the bookmark does not behave like a navigational tool. So it's not going to bring you to that page. So what's the purpose then, you may ask? Well, remember, bookmark is not just bringing you to that page, but it also remembers the setting of the year and the month and the filtering and the sort order, for example. So say if I change this to year 2000, notice how things change. And maybe for fun, let's just change that to online as well so that you can see. So this is now red and this is year 2005. So when we are in here, we are watch this and we click that bookmark. See if nothing happened, we are still on this page. It doesn't go to our previous page, which is a simple report. But if we manually click that, watch this. It's no longer red and it's back to year 2013 and month five. So what's happening is that bookmark changes the attributes of this page, but it didn't bring us to this page. Hmm, interesting. Therefore, my recommendation is to always leave the current page as tick if you want to use the bookmark as navigator. And what's the difference between all visuals and selected visuals? Do you want Power BI to remember the various filtering, drill through, and sort settings for all visuals or just selected visuals in that page? For example, Filtering can happen in multiple visuals. Which one do you want Power BI to remember in your bookmark? Is it just for one visual, the selected one, or for everything? I'm going to show you the difference between bookmark with all visuals versus selected visuals. So that was our original. I'm going to create a new one. And in this new ones, we are going to apply the bookmark only to the selected visuals, which is the month slicer. So hit add whilst clicking and selecting that month slicer. And then let's rename this. Simplified reports, selected visuals, month. That's five. Now it's done. And let's untick all visual and click selected visuals. Let's check one more time. Now selected visuals is tick. So what does it mean? It means that if we change that to nine, for example, it will revert to five because it remembers the bookmark was set when month was equal to five. Now, if we change the year to say 2002 and click that bookmark, nothing happened. The bookmark doesn't remember the state of other visuals, not all visuals in this page, only that selected visuals. And at that time we selected the month. And notice the difference if we click this other bookmark where everything was previously selected for all visuals. Watch this, the year will revert back to, to 2013. Voila, can you see that? If you are on another page, say for example, these top 10 regions, and you click this bookmark where it's only applying it to selected visuals, when everything else is thick, it will still bring you to that page. So it still behave like other bookmark. But it's only when the other things are changed, for example, and you click that, it ignores the state of the other items that was not selected. In summary, if you are new to Power BI, to keep things simple, my recommendation is to keep all options tick. Data, display, current page, and all visuals. Once you have gained more confidence in your, your Power BI journey, you can then start exploring experimenting with various bookmark options to enhance the user experience. See you next time.